Well, after my bad experience with the double cask, which I did not like in any shape or form, it's time to bring you, yes, another Tam the Villain, but with a difference. What about you whiskey lovers and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Straight with me Big Al. It's great to have the pleasure of your company once again and yes today I have decided to delve back into the Tamnavillain range to see if it can rise in my estimation and the reason I got this was because I saw an offer. Yes I am a stingy bugger. But anyway this is the Tamnavillain White Wine Cask Edition. It's been matured in American oak casks, finished in Sauvignon Blanc wine casks. Its recommended retail price is about 32 quid. I got it for 20. That's why I picked it up. It's bottled at 40% 40, 40 ABV. It's not a statement. Now, I thought I would give this a go, specifically because I don't like the the double cask. Never have. Tried it a couple of times. Just can't have it. But all distilleries deserve a second chance and you got to try different expressions. So I do love whiskey as you know. I do love wine as you may not know. And when it comes to white wine in particular I do love a Sauvignon Blanc. Particularly from the Marlborough region of New Zealand. But that's a different story. If you look on the website on Tam the Vaughan. There's not a whole big pile of information in this. In fact, there's none at all. None that I could find. You can find it elsewhere, but anyway, we'll not get into that. You've got all the details, so we'll start off, do the tasting, see how it fares, and if you've got this or something similar, pour a wee drop into your glass, and we'll have a wee drink along together, because whiskey, after all, is always better shared. And we'll start off in the nose. Sancha. Boy, yes. Right off, there's a nice crisp white wine influence right off in the nose and it does give those really crisp, lovely f aromas of a Sauvignon Blanc. Melon, a wee bit of peach. Thankfully it's only slight because I'm not an overly big fan of the peach aroma. Green apple. And there's a wee touch of cinnamon coming in there right on the back end to give it a wee bit of a kick too. It spices it up. Helps to give a wee kick to the airways, if you know what I mean. But all in all, it really is pleasant on the nose. It's, it's light, it's crisp, it's fruity. And yeah, nice nose. So on to the palate. Cheers. Now that spice that I mentioned on the back end of the nose comes through here right off on the arrival. There's a wee bit of, of gingeriness. It tingles briefly right up front and then it opens up to a nice, once again, Sauvignon Blanc flavour. It's crisp and it's fruity and it's fresh. And then there's a wee bit of a peachy and then tannic, slightly tannic nature comes in after that. Now it opens up a wee bit more in this second sip and there's gooseberry, there's lime, there's lemon, there's green apple, very citrusy, crisp, fresh but still at the same time there's a wee bit of a dark element there that comes through as it transitions out as it crosses the palate towards the back of the back of the mouth and it's how could I say it it's it slightly takes away from the first impression it's nice it's nice and then it sort of goes towards the back of the palate and it's it fades somewhat and loses some of its initial appeal the finish here is medium but a surprisingly tannic for a white wine cask finish. You would expect this more in a red wine 
cask finish. It's the mouthfeel. It's almost a wee bit ashy, like the, the remnants of a beach fire, but it doesn't have the peaty or smoky element. Maybe a wee hint of it. And it's, it, it's, it's a wee tad bizarre. It's... It's a strange one, but you know what? I do like it. It's a good whiskey, nothing more. Decent, good whiskey. Would I pay £32 for it? Hell no. Would I buy it at £20, £18 or something like that? I probably would. Just to keep it on the shelf, you know, to, to, to give to visitors to the house. Who you don't want to give the really good whiskey to, you know what I mean. But anyway, yes, I do enjoy it. And in terms of a score, yeah, 82. It's good, nothing more, nothing spectacular about it, but it's a hell of an improvement, in my opinion, on the double cask. Now folks, it's over to you. Thanks once again for your ongoing support. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And if you've had this, please let me know your thoughts on it or any Tamna Vullen product you've had before. It's always great to read your comments and interact with you guys. So until the next time, please look after yourselves, look after each other, and most importantly, keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. Sláinte